Hello friends, this video on organic chemistry basic part 6 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let's start with a very interesting topic, very critical for chemistry, organic chemistry called functional groups. So what is functional group? Functional group, as the definition suggests, is nothing but atom or group of atoms, when they are joined in a specific manner, is responsible for chemical property of the organic compound. So chemical properties are determined by the functional group. So what is functional group? It's nothing but atom or group of atom. They are nothing but atom or group of atom. Before we understand this from the chemistry point of view, let me give you a real life example. For example, if you see, God has made this creatures, boy, girl, snakes, dogs, monkey, cows, fish. All these have unique characteristics. So they are all living beings, right? So here living beings is nothing but organic chemistry. Let's suppose. They are organic compounds. So, since these belongs to fish group, they have properties of fish. They have, they can swim, they scour, they can give milk, they have four legs, they monkey, they can climb, they dogs, they are very, uh, uh, they very reliable, they can protect you, they can bark, they are snakes, they can crawl, there's human beings, they are brain, right, there's a girl, there's a boy. So, I mean, human, God has made this, right, and these are all Example of functional group. If this is a cow functional group, you can have n number of cows, different varieties of cow, but all these cows will have similar properties, right? You can have Jersey cow, you can have Indian cow, you can have Indian cow. Monkeys, you can have red monkey, blue monkey, black monkey. Dogs, you have so many Alsatian, there are so many varieties of dogs, right? So many varieties of snakes. But all these varieties of snakes you take or you take varieties of dogs, they'll have common properties. Human beings also, you can take Asian, they are, no, they are old people, they are young people. They are no uh, students, but all these will have common properties. Similarly, the moment you talk about functional group, the moment, for example, in, in chemistry world now, for example, OH group is hydroxyl group. So if you see CS3OH is methyl alcohol, C2H5OH is ethyl alcohol. We'll talk about the naming convention now in the next few slides. These two have similar properties. Not exactly the same, similar properties. Similarly, if you have something in aldehyde group, most of the aldehyde groups will have similar property. Correct. So this OH group is like snake group. You take any snake, cobra or something or no, let's suppose uh, the thin snake and uh, anaconda, they'll have similar properties. They'll have you know, um, this tail and they can bite, they'll be poisonous. So those kind of property to have. Similarly, all this alcohol will have similar property. So function in, in the in the world of real world right so each of us belongs to a functional group we are a male functional group maybe i mean male or female functional group human functional group dogs are part of dogs functional group so same thing in organic chemistry you have different functional groups that determines the property right if it is a dog dog will have its own property if it's a snake snake will have its own property whether you talk about different kind of snakes similarly in case of organic chemistry if it is hydroxyl functional group then it is methyl alcohol, ethyl alcohol, all these will have similar chemical properties. Correct. Let's talk about more functional groups in chemistry. So alkane is one functional group where you have only single bond, for example, butane. Then you have alkenes, which has double bond. For example, this is a butene. We'll, we'll talk about the naming convention in the next few slides. Then alkynes will have triple bond, for example, butyne, T triple bond. Then we have arenes, as I told, aromatic substance, right? For example, benzene. They have a different property altogether. They are stable. They have uh, aromatic smells, and they have 4n plus 2 pi delocalized electrons. Then they have something called halides. This can be any halogen, fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine. When it is attached to uh, organic chemistry, it gives a different property, right? So, for example, this guy is bromobutane. So you can have chlorobutane also, iodobutane also. So, depending on which uh, halogen is attached, this will have similar properties. Alcohols, as I told, right, you can have butanol, it will have a different property. Aldehydes, butanol, this is aldehyde. So you can take um, all this uh, aldehyde, they'll have different property. You take ketones, similarly you have uh, nitriles, that is CN with triple bond. We have ethers, ROR, we have carboxylic acid, COH, we have carboxylate ions, CO minus, we have esters, COR, we have Acyl allyl, COX, we have amines, NS2, we have amides, we have nitros. So all these are some of the critical 
functional group that you should remember. Starting with alkanes, alkenes, alkynes, adenes, halides, alcohol, aldehyde, ketones, nitriles, ether, carboxylic acids, carboxylates, ions, esters. This you can ignore because we don't use it much. But esters, acyl halides, amine, amides, nitros. These are something which we use frequently. So please remember this chart. You should know all these functions because these function groups are the main. They are, they are more functional groups in the chemistry, but these are major functional groups which should be studying in the chart. Right? So you should know all these functions. Let's start with homologous series. If you talk about uh, functional group, functional group has a peculiar, peculiar characteristic and this is homologous series. So what is this? So we see a group or series of organic compound, each containing a particular functional group, they form some homologous series. For example, alkanes will have a homologous series, alkyne is a homologous series, haloalkane is a homologous series, is a homologous series. Similarly, alkanol is a homologous series, alkanol is a homologous series. All these are homologous. For example, I took this is my alkanes. This is methane, ethane, propane, butane. Right? This is my alkane homologous series. The list is bigger, but I just took only the four elements. This is my alkanol because this is methanol, ethanol, propanol, you know, isopropyl alcohol, butanol, butyl alcohol. All these are alcohol actually. This is my alcohol group and this is my alkanoic acid actually. This is methanoic, ethanoic, propanoic, butanoic, pentanoic acid. These are my, all my homologous series. And why we study homologous series? There's a reason behind it, right? We'll talk about this in the next slide, but just understand that from the example I took of the homologous series, I told snakes is a homologous series. They can be different varieties of snake, but all these snakes will have some properties, right? Similarly, here also, if you see, I took two homologous series. This is my male homologous series and this is female homologous series. So male has a different characteristic, female has different characteristics, right? Now, in the male homologous series, if you see, right, there are so many males variant. That it can be kid or it can be baby, small baby. It can be a kid in the class. It can be a college student, college young student. It can be a... Uh, young man, this can be a matured man, and this is an old man. Similarly, here also you can see, right, this is a, a small baby, this is a uh, lady, a uh, girl, small girl, this is a college going girl, this is a young lady, this is a matured lady, almost in 50, this is an old grandma kind of um, lady, right. So, all these has the one on the top, these guys, all the male group has a common chemical property. But as you go, as you go from here to here, there is some difference in the property. Right? They have some properties, similar properties, but there is some difference in the property. For example, the maturity level here, if you see from here to here, increase. The child is not matured. It is immature actually. This is somewhat matured, little bit matured. This is matured, but you no know, ready to take risk. This guy is you no know, settled in life. This guy is he can't take risk now. He's you no, know, he's fully matured. And this guy will lose his uh, uh, what do you call thinking capability. He's pretty old. He needs care. But the properties are almost same, but a little bit different. Similarly, in this case also, methane, ethane, propane, butane. The properties are almost same, but little bit different. And there's a pattern here. If you see, uh, if you say this guy and this guy, there's a difference of CH2, right? You see this guy and this guy, ethane and propane. There's a difference of CH2. Here also, there's a difference of CH2. If you take anything here also, if you see, there is a difference of CS2. Here also you see there is a difference of CS2. So the difference is always CS2 between two consecutive elements of a homologous series. There are some properties, special unique properties in homologous series, and that's why we are studying this homologous series. From the real example, life example, I gave you this example where all these forms of logical homologous series where they have some properties, but they have some differences. Right? Maybe you can say that there is a uh, difference in age of 15 years. This is 15, this guy is 0 year, this guy is 15 year, this guy is 30 year, this guy is 45, this guy is 16, this guy is 70. Maybe that way you can say, right? There's a, a difference of 50, 15 years here, there's a difference of CH2 here, right? And there are different, different properties, you know, a gradual increase in properties. Similarly, here also you can see there's a gradual increase in properties. When you talk about the reaction, right? Some reacts uh, faster, some reacts slower. And there's a pattern in that. 
in the homolog acid. Similarly, if you see methanoic acid, ethanoic acid, propanoic acid, butanoic acid, pentanoic acid, there is a pattern, there is a pattern in the way they react. Correct? So, and the member of the series are called homolog. Correct? So, as I told, there is some property of the characteristic of the homolog series, right? So, that's why we are studying that. So, let's understand the characteristics. The first is, all the members of a particular homologous series should have same function group. You see, here all from the alkane group, here we see all from the alcohol group, here we see from all from the acid group, carboxylic acid. Correct. They should have same similar chemical form. Like you see, this is Cn, this is Cn H two N plus. So this is the chemical, of, uh, this is the structural formula for this. If you see, you put N is equal to 1, become, this becomes CH4, N is equal to 2, becomes C2H6, N is equal to 3, C3H8, N is equal to 4, C4H10. So they have similar chemical formula. Correct. This also, if you see, this is CNH2N plus 1OH. This is the formula. You keep on putting different values of N, you will get different acids. So they have similar chemical formula. They have similar chemical properties. The properties of methane, ethane, propylmethane are almost same. The properties of methanol, ethanol, uh, isopropyl alcohol, butyl alcohol, they are all same. So they have similar chemical properties. The successive compounds differ by CS2. As I told, you see the difference between these two is CS2. You take any two, difference between CS2. This is CS2. You take these two, the difference will be CH2. If you take any two successive uh, compounds in the series, the difference is CH2. The physical properties show a gradual trend. If you see, there is a gradual trend in the physical property as you go from up and down. So when I talk about physical property, I am saying the melting point, the boiling point, the density, the solubility, etc. All these show a gradual increase or decrease as we go, as we have, I mean, as we go down as, or as we increase the molecular mass, right? And also, they can be prepared by uh, similar uh, methods, actually. So the method to prepare methane, ethane, prop and butane are almost same, right? So they, the method of preparation is almost same for all these elements in the particular modular series. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.